how <laughs> tough was it to see Jack go down? And uh, what's your guys' confidence level? I mean, you guys were together. You guys had six games together, which yeah. is like the most since you've been here, I think. Yeah. Um, how tough was that? And what do you expect from, from Herbie? I expect great things from Herbie. You know, he knows the expectations in the room, and he's a phenomenal player. I mean, he always answers the call whenever his number numbers called for. So. We all have tremendous amount of respect for Herbie and what he does to play two positions. Um, and you know, I think when it comes to Jack, it was, yeah, it was really sad to see him go down like that. You know, obviously the continuity was very important. You know, so the message that we've been saying every week, and you know, I think we have faith in the in the people that you know are backing us up. Stout has the same expectations, holds them accountable. So I think Herbie's going to do a phenomenal job. He step right in into the career, and, and we're going to get the ball rolling. Keep. Keep rolling. What, what did it mean to you to see Jason Kelsey come back after what he went through in that first half? You ever seen uh, The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies? And the dwarves are getting slaughtered. Sorry, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word. And then old, the old king jumps over the wall the, and they come running out. It's like they rally to him. Rally to the king. You know that? Okay, anyways, I'll find the gift for you. Uh, that's what it was. It's like rally to the king. You know? uh, we got our leader back. It was awesome. It was a great morale booster. Uh, I'm not saying Herbie didn't have bring that morale, but you know, just he can't. There's the reason why Jason Kelsey is Jason Kelsey. You know, so. When Jalen Hurts is struggling like that, do you say anything to him during the course of the game? I know you guys talk mm -hmm. to each other quite a bit in game. Do you say anything to him when he's having those uh, issues? The next play, that's about it. You know, we try and we want to move forward. We want to you know, identify the problem and just move on to the next play. Try not to be a repeat offender. So. It's our message that we have as a team, and you know, whenever I see Jalen, just pick his head up. You know, he's very tough on himself. He's he's a professional. He's a hard worker. He takes accountability when, when it needs to. So yeah, that's that's our message as an O line. Always, whenever one of us is talking to him, it's like you know, let him know that we have his back. Just keep keep his head up. Jordan, have you seen a trend of teams blitzing um, their <coughs> either their nickel or their, their safety from the edges uh, more for over the last two weeks? I wouldn't say it's a trend. I think it's just what they do. So the, it just happened to be, you know, that's their identity. That's how they present their defense. So you know, I don't think they're doing it because of us. I just think that's just who they are as a defense. You know, that's what we've learned during study. So, yeah. Jordan, building off the last question on, on Jalen, mm -hmm. um, there, there was an image after the game where, you know, you went up to him after that final play, looked like, you know, you were consoling him, had a quick conversation. What was that moment like? And, um, you know, how, how does that relationship uh, between you and him go? I think uh, sometimes actions are louder than words. I didn't say anything. Just wanted to let him know that I was there. That he wasn't alone. It wasn't his fault. It wasn't anyone's fault. Just, you know, sometimes you, you, you don't have any words to say. You're just, like, shocked. You know? Like, that, that's, that's the truth. I didn't say anything. I just stood there by him, made sure I was there, picked him up, walked by him, made sure that, you know, he was in a good place. and. We weren't, we weren't in a good place out of that game. You know, it, was a, it was a tough loss. Um, I mean, obviously, y'all know, I, I, I'm, a very, I'm a very bad loser. So uh, that's just me. And so I try to make sure that you know, my boys are good first before I handle my business. So. Yeah, what was going through your head after the, after the game? You know, there were some photos of you looked like you were getting emotional. You said you are a bad loser, but what was going through your mind? I'll tell you what, I was fine before Stout came up to me. Started talking and I just lost it. I just. You know, we play games, and you know when we, when you know you, you the line and everybody in that team is is giving their all to, to, to you know, win the game. It's it's just and you don't come away with the result that you want. It's tough, man. It's tough, and I think that's what I love about this team. Everybody's a competitor. Everybody wants to strive to be great, and you know that's why we have the locker room that we have. Everybody's the same mindset, and I think for me, I just you know get emotional. That's it. What did Stout say to you? The same thing I just said. Yeah. You know, you give everything that you got. At the end of the day, you can look in the mirror and say you did that. What's with, what's with Jalen in that game, uh, Sonny? The Giants were making a point of hitting him after the handoffs on the RPOs. <laughs> Is there anything you guys can do about that? I know you don't like that sort of thing. I hate that stuff, and it's like, you know, that's why you got to be aggressive up front. You know, that's the only time you can legally hit them, or on an interception. Yeah. yeah. So. You know, it's you yeah. it's uh, it, it's tough, man. Like you, you can't control the refs. You gotta let the refs ref, and yeah, I mean, it's frustrating as hell. But that's when you can take it out on the the guy standing in front of you. 
come over for Jordan. What's Devontae like as, as a teammate, and what's he like as a competitor overall? It's phenomenal. you think he's been playing in the league for years. You know, that's just the, the asset that we have you know, coming in from college and being able to just slot right in and, and just keep bringing that morale, keep bringing the juice, and just being accountable. Dude, the bloke is so accountable. Like, you tell him to do something. You tell him to block downfield. Doesn't matter how big, everybody gives him a full part of my language for you know, his size, but the bloke can block. He can block damn well as well. Does that maturity kind of rub off on everybody else who's kind of around that age? 100%. He's a leader. Everyone's a leader. They just don't know. Last one for Jordan. When you're having an emotional time after a game, how long does it last? How do you snap out of it? How long do you kind of let it linger before it's like, I got to move on? Uh, so usually uh, the 24 hour rule, but uh, if I gotta be honest, this last game, I just got over it yesterday. And I moved on now. Yeah, I don't know what it, what it was about that Giants game. It was just, I hate losing like that. Those close games, uh, they get to you, man. But that was last week. We learned from the mistakes and we're ready to take on the next game because that's the most important one. J Javon, does playing the Jets, uh, you know, in the preseason, them joint practices, did it, does that have an effect to, to this week? Like, you know, remembering what they look like and Zach Wilson? I mean, we uh, definitely um, know some of the guys, um, just being able to compete against them early in the season. Um, but that was a long time ago, so we know they got um, done improved, so we got to uh, be at our best. So you finally got that seventh sack for the career high. Was it still significant for you, even though it kind of happened the way it did? Oh, yeah. You, you uh, never show how you get sacks. So. Man, I just, it's, it's hard to get sacks in this league. So. I meant more in terms of the, like, the, the way you guys lost at the, at, at the end. Like, was it um, well, I mean, it, it definitely would have felt better with the win. Um, of course, it would have felt better with the win, but definitely happy to get it. What do you take away from a game where you guys give up 13 points and hold them to 260-something yards, and, and, and when you get the you get the loss, uh, how do you, you kind of deal with those two? I mean, we just know we uh, we had some good things happen for us on the defensive side of the ball, so we're just going to use that game to try to carry over to the Jets and be able to stop them. Is this one of these uh, games where you just can't wait to get back out there and get the case study Oh, yeah, it's, it's perfect. Uh, we're going now back to the same place uh, and be able to, you know, just uh, try to get a win this week. But you want Spurs getting that milestone sack for your high. I wouldn't say pressing. Uh, I wasn't doing anything crazy like that, but I mean, I, I try to get a sack anytime, so it ain't really, I wasn't really pressing it like that. Monday to Saturday, how have you been dealing with the shoulder injury? Nah, mine's it's good now. Um, it's just something that done got better over the weeks, so I'm feeling pretty good. BG was just out here interacting with us. What, what's it mean? You know, he was on the road this past game just to, you know, have his presence around you guys. I mean, BG, he's a, a you know, great energy, um, positive, very positive person, and just a good friend to have around. What have you seen from Milton as he's, as he's progressed over the year? I mean, he, uh, like I said, he keep getting better. Um, he's always in the film room, just always competing. We compete in the weight room. He just, uh, he a good dude to have around and just a very hard worker. It's been a grind, I mean, for everybody, for a young kid uh, to not really hit that rookie ball we talked about through 12 weeks. What does that say about him? I mean, it's, it's big because um, we all done been there before and he coming to the league where it's the longest season, uh, longest season we ever had. So, I mean, that just uh, shows it's mature. I mean, we, you couldn't tell we just came off a loss. I think everybody just encouraged to uh, try to get this win and um, get um, get it rolling again. Feel like there's enough time to get it rolling again? Oh, yeah, they're still tight, if you've seen. So we know uh, we still got a chance. So we're going to prepare like we do. When you see Zach Wilson progressing as a quarterback, what do you think he is right now in terms of his development? What's it like chasing a quarterback that's mobile like that? I mean, we know uh, he got a great arm. Um, we know he, he's going to get better over the years, but he's still good right now. So we got to uh, find ways to, you know, disrupt his timing and, you know, get out of him. How tough was it to see Jack go down? And uh, what are your, you know, what are your thoughts on Herbie? Uh, he's played a lot of football now. Yeah, man, I thought uh, Jack was just kept climbing the guard and uh, was playing well. 
man, it's just unfortunate uh, him going down. But but Herbie filled in. I, I feel like Herbie played a, um, a real good game last week. And uh, you know, over the past two years, we played a lot uh, together um, next to each other. How difficult has it been? I mean, you had Brandon start the year, then Jag. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of it, like uh, just communication-wise. Um, you know, snap counts. You want to get the the, the cadence down, the, the rhythm of the snap count. Uh, and that's really it, but a lot of things is just uh, communication with different guys coming in and out. You've been around Kels a lot of years uh, to see what he went through with the knee Sunday uh, and, and coming back in the game. What did he show you? <laughs> Not surprising. I mean, I, I, uh, Jason Kelsey, if nothing's broken or they tell him he can't play, he's going to play. So, um, you know, I'm glad it wasn't nothing uh, significant. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we're a totally different, entirely different football team uh, with him, him at center. Uh, I didn't get to really see him much at, at halftime. Um, I just saw him kind of walking uh, back, I think, during the second half. And then I, I was asking him, I thought it was his foot, and he said it was his knee, he got rolled up, but um, then he, he came back in. Were you, did you, did, were you surprised that he did, having been out for so long? Like, yeah, I, yeah, if it's him, I thought it may have been something significant because he's really a guy that doesn't, doesn't miss any um, with, with injuries. So um, but him, him coming back and, and, and playing well, so yeah. How do you think anything you're playing? I always play better. Uh, it may really don't mean nothing if you don't win, but uh, I'm playing playing pretty good. Just uh, got to keep it up and stay healthy. Is this one of these days where you just can't wait for Sunday? You think it might be your mouth? Yeah, but you got to put in the, the, the work this week. Uh, when we, we scrimmage these guys during during training camp, and uh, they have some guys inside. Um, Frank Myers on the outside, who I think is an extremely underrated player. I think he's a good player, so we'll – you know, not another tough matchup in the trenches. Jalen, you know, he's still pretty young, but he seems like he's not the kind of guy that you have to go up and talk to. Pretty much what he's Yeah, I mean, he's he's smart. He knows. Um, and with him, man, he just uh, even when stuff's down, it's I mean, he's still even kill level headed. I mean, he always has been since uh, from day one. Yeah, I think it all goes back to Coach Stoutland. I mean, just how he coaches. I mean, it doesn't matter, like I said, if you're starting or if you're third string or practice squad. I mean, he really coaches everybody the same way and doesn't really change uh, with who you are. I don't say nothing. I mean, a lot of, a lot of stuff uh, on the sideline is us with Stout, uh, communication, blocking different fronts. I mean, even during the game, there's so much that, that we miss, you know, as far as plays. Uh, we just try to. The whole line, man, just just block and until the until the game's over, really. You mentioned the different fronts <laughs> that the Giants used. Like, was that something that you expected, and did they do anything that surprised you? Yeah, uh, I mean, nothing really that, that surprised us. I think maybe they caught us one look. Um, we may miss some pass pro, but other than that, we kind of knew that they were gonna maybe throw a rink or two in there. But I mean, going into the game, we knew they had a good front uh, interior guys, uh, one of the bigger guys uh, that, that we go against, the Lawrence and and Williams. I know that you, you and Herbie have played next to each other. Uh, really, just goes down to communication. Um, that's what I was telling him. But for me, I mean, set lines is pretty similar for for tackle. I mean, really, a lot of stuff's the same. Just communication. And, and uh, but like I said, over the past two years, I played played some ball with Herbie, so have some some sort of familiarity with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't think his confidence wavered. It's just, it's, you know, he's, he's disappointed. I mean, disappointed, but I mean, with the game, we had plenty of, plenty of opportunities to, to put that game away from start to finish, and we, we didn't do it. A couple more for Lee. Yeah, I, th I, mean, I think with him, he's going to be harder on himself than maybe anybody can be, the media, the coaches, whatever. Um, so he demands a lot of himself. and. And moving forward this week, uh, no difference. So, I mean, that's, that's what I see from him. Give me a good Elijah Riley stories. <laughs> I mean, he's just an all-around great dude. Um, 
in the off season, you know, we spent a lot of time just kind of training and stuff like that. Just a hard worker, you know, a local guy in terms of the East Coast, and um, he's just all around just a really good dude. I got all positive things to say about Elijah. Have you been in touch with him at all? Not as much uh, since he left, but I know I know him. I know he's really focused, and I know he's you know just trying to put out the the best film, have the best day of practice every day to to get better and better. So um, I'm excited for his opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure. Um, again, you just see him, you know, making plays with his feet and his arm. He's uh, got all the tools, you know, to really make all the throws and to, you know, get plays out of the pocket and extend plays. So, um, you know, obviously, just a guy that we're really, you know, focused in on for sure. Yeah. I mean, anytime you, uh, anytime you lose, it's not a good feeling. So. Um, you definitely felt that coming in on Monday, and you felt the the energy and the um, you know all that frustration being put towards you know positive energy and just trying to uh, get to this next week and, and put some really good things on the film. Obviously, they're different than they were when you guys had joined practice. Yeah. You guys are much different. Is that? Did you look back on that at all? Is that helpful in any way? Yeah, I mean, you can look at some things, um, but you know, you, like you said, uh, they're different, and we're a little different in terms of how we're gonna. Um, play and, and things like that. So uh, you can look at, I think, for some personnel things and, and things like that. But um, it'll be fun to, to get back out there and um, you know play with them, you know, live in a, in a regular season game. Is it rare for you to like go all the way back to like training camp film at this point in the season? <laughs> yeah. Um, again, like, you look at a couple things, but nothing um, too crazy. Definitely something new for me. I've never experienced that, but it's uh, it's cool. You know, you got film from all the way back then, so it's it's all positive. Yeah, I think, you know, the best thing um, about, you know, this building in general is everyone is the same person every single day. Uh, you come in, and whether it's win or loss, you know, obviously there's going to be more frustration after a loss and things like that, but um, it's right back to work. It's right back to how can we be better for this next week, and I think that's one thing that, that rubs off on the team really well. Yeah, it's a crazy weekend in college football. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Definitely a crazy weekend for me. Um, my Badgers lost, so that one hurts a little bit. I had a lot. I had a lot of frustration on Saturday night, but it is what it is. You know, it was it was tough, but they'll be back. Yeah, probably not in the best spirits. I didn't even. Yeah, I didn't even bother to. If we would have won, I would have said something, but it is what it is, man.